Oh, it's amazing. Um, we've been really excited um, at the prospect of George coming over and um, finally landed last week and, and jumped in with, with two feet. She's been in training with us on, on Thursday and on, on Sunday for our pre-season camp. So, um, yeah, it's absolutely outstanding. I think she's going to add um, loads of quality to our squad, particularly in her leadership. Um, and just the fact that she's, she's played in the, the top tier of the competition, both in the NRL and international. So it's just always great to have someone with that sort of experience and skill um, around the place. And we can see early doors that she's definitely going to add a lot of value. It shows the ambition of the Rhinos and the intent to, to sign some of, someone of George's quality, but also how good it is for the Women's Super League competition. You just think about the, the young fans that are going to be able to, to meet a new player to win Super League, um, how excited they'll be to come down to, to Henley and watch. And, um, you know, we can already, already see that they'll be waiting at the side ready to get signatures and stuff like that. So it's just exciting. I know that she'll, she'll bring some, some, some great, great attributes to our team and it, it can't wait to, get, wait to see the whole squad play, but especially Georgia in a Rhino shirt. Yeah, I played, played against uh, Georgia when we, we went to the World Cup in 2017. So, and it was great watching her play in the, the 2021 World Cup this year. Um, I think she showed there some of her work ethic and her determination. I think, you know, topping the tackle count um, in that final, in the semi final. So, you know, she's familiar with some of our girls from playing against them uh, in the semi final when they were playing for England and she was playing for New Zealand. So, um, yeah, I think she's hungry on the back of that World Cup and excited to get going with the Rhino. Oh, I think the work ethic were in evidence from everybody. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, you know, George landed on Wednesday and she was straight into training on Thursday and then um, give the option of coming on the Sunday to our pre-season camp and she were, she were absolutely um, just mad keen to get going and that probably just shows a lot about George's character and um, which is pleasing to see as, as coaching staff but yeah we had our pre-season camp yesterday and it was it were great you could already see some of the leadership qualities coming to the front and that grit and determination to, to get a job done whether it's um, hard or not um, but the, the girls yesterday as a collective were all absolutely outstanding and I think um, you know put Georgia at ease settling into the group so she's enjoyed meeting everyone and, and they've enjoyed meeting her and that, that's what pre-season is all about. It's really exciting I think that you can look at it and we've got a lot of new faces but we've added so much quality and I think that you know that's exciting for the girls as well you've got to adapt and you've got to change and you've got to um, you know look to keep evolving if you want to be the best and, and stay at the top of your game and we've certainly done that so there's a lot of new faces and they've, they've settled in really well to pre-season some of our more, more senior girls and those that have been established for a long time also working really hard so yeah, it's exciting. Um, Pre-seasons are good for learning more about yourself and others, um, setting yourself some really big challenges and uh, it's been really good so far. So the girls have worked hard, they've got a bit of a break next week and then we'll be back in for, for, for block two, ready for the, our, our friendly against Wigan on the 12th of March and then season opener on the 9th of April here.